Right, George, this has been class chatting to you, and we've only got one question left, and it's the one question I gave you some time to prepare for. So, yeah, Blair Kinghorn, he's not made the squad. For God knows what reason he's not in the squad. You've just had a massive 50-point win over Glasgow. Bus back. It's a Saturday night. You can hear that Why Not tunes are ready to be bouncing. Shout out to Why Not for anybody that's been to Edinburgh. You're there. <laughs> Boys turn to you, El Capitano turns around and goes, George, you've got three songs. What three songs are you picking and tell me why? So start with number one. What song are we picking at number one? Well, yeah, when you initially asked it, um, I, I picked it because it's it was our winning song at Melrose. So nice. if we if we had a solid win, we, we'd play that at Melrose. So whenever I, I go, go on a night out with the Melrose lads, this would be... The song that I'd chuck on, and it would be um, "Let's Do It Again" by J Boog. Uh, great song, great, great song. A solid song, <laughs> but I, I think like it wouldn't get the recognition at, at Edinburgh, um, apart from the likes of Lewis Carmichael and and Demo and stuff like that. Mm. So you can you can bring that culture with you though. It's all about bringing a winning culture. Just say that, and then just keep playing. True. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just take uh, two medals and be like, we've got the double. So <laughs> this is the song. Yeah. Look, look at Crosby and be like, until Livingston win the double, we will happily play this. <laughs> right, song number two. You've you've just played this. Every lad is now thinking, I don't play for Melrose. What's the song two? How are you winning the crowd back with song two? Uh, it'd be Pour the Milk by Robert Doherty. So that's like a bit more. Bit more upbeat, bit more techno. Uh, Something that gets gets the toes tapping. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a simple song, but it, yeah. it sounds good. I like that. The, lad, the lads can see the lights flash and they can see the booth. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. exactly. So you've got, yeah, so you've got song three. The bus drivers agreed to drop you off on George Street. The tables are booked. You've got one song. You've just entered like Princess Street. What song oh, are you going God. with? The final song? Uh, so I chose Heartbroken by T2, but great tune, probably controversial, but I love it. Is that the Gets one? Is, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think which one it is. Is it the one where it was like, um, it was the three, like, it was the, I don't want to sing it because I'm just going to ruin myself today. Is it, it came out like, it came out when we were like 15 or something. I'm just going to sing it. It's like, I'm yeah, heartbroken. It's, yeah, yeah I don't know. One. Yeah, is it that one? Oh, yeah. banger, respect. I like that. Yeah. yeah, I found it on Spotify one day. I was like, "Oh my god, that is a that's still a tune." So <laughs> Mate, I wouldn't care what the end. audience say. It's good. <laughs> You're just like this one is for me, lads. I'll be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So heartbroken by T two. What a final choice that is. That's absolutely class. I love that you just went. Nah, just forget the boys. We'll just do T two at the end, and that's me, and I'm out. <laughs> If the rest of the boys come in the club, they'll come in, but I'm definitely going in. 